This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. I'm standing here with, with Anne-Marie Banfield from the Bedford Taxpayers Association, and I think you heard snippets of that conversation. Yeah. You have other concerns. But what, what's your main concern about the restrictions around here? Well, in the past, um, you know, I'm not with any campaign. We are a, a taxpayer kind of watchdog group in New Hampshire. And in the past, um, you know, we've been restricted to keeping the, keeping the uh, sidewalks clear, which makes sense. But we really haven't been restricted on what I can say. So if I say... Um, Bedford Taxpayers Association, here's our recommended list, like we'll, we'll, we'll recommend um, people for office. Uh, I've been told that I can't say that, which seems odd because in the past that hasn't been a problem. It's been more about keeping the walkway clear, which I think everybody can understand, but now it almost seems like it's infringing upon things that I can say. I'm not with any campaign. Um, you know, we, did, we have just a recommended list. People can obviously take it or leave it. We're, ta we're talking about our organization. We're telling them about our organization and just saying, you know, if you're going in, you want to take a look at this when you go in. Um, but now I'm told that I can't even, uh, you know, say these things. And, and I'm told uh, by our moderator that this was passed into a law. So I don't know if this is a law. I don't, but I can tell you right now, there's major restrictions coming this year that I haven't been under in years past. There is a new fascistic, fascistic law in place. He's right about that. Right. Um, are you finding that, um, I, uh, to, to what extent are you um, uh, allowed to say the name of a candidate? Um, I haven't asked finding? because we really, I, I haven't engaged in that mm. because we have a list of candidates. Yeah. Um, you know, if somebody were to talk to me about a candidate, I would talk to them, but I haven't yelled out anything about a candidate yet. Aren't there folks who would say, well, it's, this applies equally to everybody, so it's not hurting any candidates? Um, you know, I can understand what they're saying, but there comes a point where why it's, it seems like you're restricting my speech, though, along the way. Yeah. Well, I asked, did you hear him? I asked, where, where do I get my my free speech back? And he says, where, how far? I said, how far do, away do I have to go? And he said, to the legislature. Well, I heard what you said about, you know, if I'm wearing a T-shirt, do I have to take it off? Well, what if you're a woman with a, with a Trump shirt on or a, or a Hillary shirt on? What do you do then? Then, technically, it's legal for you to take it off, but you'll maybe lose your job. Yeah, right? I'm thinking, so, I, you know, this, I mean, it's, you know, in, in the end... Many of the same people are trying to make it illegal for women to take the tops off. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to go there, so. Yeah. But, you know, I, I just, you know, there comes a point where you have to say, wait a second, you know, I'm not a part of a campaign. I'm not working on behalf of any campaign. Yep. I am here as a totally separate, nonpartisan organization, and they're telling me that I can't, you know, that what I can say and what I can't say. It just seems yep. rather, rather odd to me. And I know that they're just following the law here in Bedford, but... Or so I've been told, but I, I don't know. I'm, I, this is just, it's just, it's kind of strange this year. I feel like um, free speech is being restricted this year compared to years past, that's for sure. All right. Thanks, Anne Marie. Mm -hmm. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to... LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.